All righty. Hello, hello. So today, let's take a look. Um, Zern Mission 6. We're going to look at Lesson 10. We're going to look at the Tower of Power for that. So um, give me one second, and I will pull that up for you. Okay, looking at the first one, write expressions to represent the total area. So in other words, we have area means we have to multiply, but we have two different things we need to multiply. So we're gonna have a multiplication and a multiplication. And then to show the total, that means you put them together. So you're gonna take these two and add them. So the purple one is a three by two. So that means three times two will give me the area of the purple one. So let's put that in here, three. Oops, I gotta scroll down because they're gonna make me drag these little thingies up. Okay, three times two, that's the purple one. And then we're gonna add that to the orange one. And the orange one though is two times B. Okay, two times B. Okay, so there's, there's one right here. This is the orange, this is the purple. And then this is saying we're adding those two together. And because of the order of operations and how you're supposed to do them, which we've taught PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, I remember we did that in fifth grade. We have to multiply these and multiply these before we can add because the M comes before the S. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Right now, they just want you to write it out. Write it out so you know what you're doing. Okay, now these two rectangles can be composed into one larger rectangle as shown with the width is, ah, two, because they're both twos, I see that, okay. What is the length of the new rectangle? So this is just, forget about the numbers. If we put it together, we have one big rectangle now. So now we have two on the one side, and then we have the three and the B is being put together. For whatever length that is, it's three B, okay? But it's not three Bs, it's the number three and a B put together. So that's a plus, three plus B. If I actually had one, two, three Bs, that would be three times B, which would be a little bit different. I hope I'm not confusing you and giving you guys too much all at once. It's all right, remember you can pause me or fast forward me. All right, remember that, okay. Write an expression for the total area of the large rectangle as the product of the width and the length. So now, We've got the three plus B times the two. So this is gonna be, oh, do I have to drag those little things up again? My screen's so small. The two is gonna be multiplied by whatever that three plus B is. Okay, now I won't go there. I was gonna tell you why there's parentheses. We'll get that another, we'll get that in another video. I don't wanna to cram too much into this. Okay, keep climbing. I'm doing something right. You know, I don't always do things right. Sometimes I mess up. All right, what are the width and lengths of this large rectangle? Oh, they don't want the whole one. They just want the large one. Okay, so the F is what's on the side and it's the same all the way across. So it looks like it's an F times F times the four, okay, wait, 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 F, it's on that side. Oh, and then four plus 10, four plus 10. They want us to put it together, I got it now. We're taking two things and putting it together for that side, yes, okay. Whew, sometimes you just gotta think it out. Write an expression for the total area of the large rectangle as the product of its width and its length. So product of, that means I'm gonna multiply the width and its length. 
and I got to write it out. Well, remember, this is the F. And then I got to multiply it by the 10 and the 4, right? 10 and 4 F. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, this isn't too bad now. Write an expression for the total area of the large rectangle as the sum the areas of the two smaller rectangles. Okay, so now we were looking at it as if it was one big rectangle, but what if we did each rectangle on its own first and then put them together? So that's why it says, write an expression of the total area of the large rectangle as the sum of the areas of the two. So that's what they're trying to tell you there. Okay, the first one we did was, what if you put them together first? Tell me how to find the area. Now they're saying, find the area of each and then put them together. So then that means, okay, so the first one is gonna be F times four, because that's that little purple one. And then I'm gonna have to do the big one which is the 10 times F. Let me make sure I'm right. Yes, 10 times F. Enter. All right, so now I got one rectangle and the other rectangle. Are they gonna have me add them together now and figure it out? What are the width and length of the large? Oh no, I don't have to figure it out. I just get to go on to another rectangle. Okay, it's one big one. So if one big one, I'm putting them together first. First I have an eight and then a five and a T. So first I have the eight on the side and the five plus the T going across. So then that would look like if I put it all together, eight, times five plus T. Same thing, but now I'm showing how I would solve it. Awesome, okay. Now, now write it as the sum of the two. So now I'm writing each rectangle and then putting it together. Okay. So that means eight, times five plus eight times T. Awesome. Multiply eight times five and eight times T to write another equivalent expression. Oh. Why don't we put some things together here? Wait a minute. Eight times T. That means it's eight T's like do, 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 do. Like I said earlier in the video, right? Okay, which is eight T's. Eight times T is eight T's. All right, so if I got my eight T's there and then my eight times five, what is my eight times five? Eight times five is 40. So that's 40 and I'm adding those together. So there's one of my rectangles. There's my other rectangle and I'm adding it together. So I partially solved this equation, not all the way. Keep climbing. That one was a little tough. That really had me thinking. Express the total area of the large rectangle as the product of its width and length. Okay, so now this is like all of them together, this times that. So I've got the eight on the side and the eight is multiplied by the Z and the A. And it doesn't matter what Z or A is. I just know that's what I'm supposed to do with them. I'm supposed to put Z and A together and then multiply it by whatever's on the side. It doesn't matter that they're letters. 
I have to know the process of what to do. Not necessarily the answer. Yes, okay. Now what do I do? Write expression of the total area of the large as the sum of the areas of the two rectangles. So now I wanna show that I find the areas first and then put them together. So that means I gotta put the eight and Z together first and then the eight and the A together. All right, so I gotta put the eight and the Z together and then the eight and the A together, eight times the A. All right, those are my two rectangles. And then I wanna add those two rectangles together. So I put the plus sign in between. See how that worked? So that's when it says, write it as the sum of the two areas. That means I find each area and then put them together. All right, that's what that is that I just did. Oh, and I didn't have to figure out what the area was. I just had to learn how to manipulate that and, and just understand that it's moving, knowing what multiplies against each other, knowing how to write them, how to write them as two separate coming together or put them together first and then find it. There's two different ways to write how you would do that. Okay, so that's that's what they're showing you. That it's just when you write out the equation, those two equations are gonna look differently even though they're still getting you the same answer and you're still getting to the same answer in the end. It's just different ways of doing it. And you're allowed to do it because of, I mean, it showed you with those with the squares. Okay, I could put the squares together and add and then, add, and then multiply or I could find this, find this, and then add it together, okay? And that actually, what they're showing you is how to use the distributive property. That's what it's called. But it, I'm not even worried about if you know what it's called, as long as you know how to use it. Because that'll be important, that you know you can do those things and you can manipulate those numbers that way. It doesn't matter if there's numbers or letters, you just got to know what you're doing with them, okay? So I know it seems a little confusing, It'll set in and, and if you do them more and do them more, you'll start to feel more comfortable moving numbers around and manipulating numbers and know it's okay and when I can move them. Okay, all right. 